Suwanapum Airport, August 11, 2012. And we're here at Suwanapum and we're about to bring Ephraim to the plane. So we're here, he just finished his check-in and before, before he will board the plane, I'll interview one of the leaders and one of the organizers of the Climate Backpacking and Ministry. He's actually based here in Bangkok, Thailand and he's one of the leaders, he's one of the, the pillars who organized this backpacking and ministry trip and his name is Franz Kalipuzan. So here I am with Franz, I'm going to interview him, I'm going to ask him what are his insights, his thoughts, his experiences, what are the happy moments that, his, that he has experienced while we're doing this backpacking and ministry trip. As we all know, I'm with him who planned this trip, so let's ask his thoughts about this. Friends, so we just finished our backpacking and ministry trip, and prior to that, you were the one who planned this, you were the one who organized this, who made sure that this trip will be very smooth and very successful. So can you give us your thoughts about the just finished backpacking and ministry trip? So what are your recommendations? Was it okay? Was it successful? Or if, if it's not so successful, what are the things that we need to improve? And I'd like to ask for your last words regarding this trip and last words for the climate backpackers. Okay, thank you so much, Jody Cup, Kapun Cup. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the climate backpackers who came here in our place here. This is our place now because we're based here here in Thailand. I want to thank you so much for your efforts, for your hardships, especially financial and um, your time, financially, financial sacrifices and sacrificing your time upon coming here. So yeah, let's go to first recommendations. I want to commend everything. I want to commend everything you did here because everything you did was really, really great for all of us. And I want to thank you for adjusting the sudden climate, the sudden activities. Almost all of the activities are really planned on the spot because, you know, as we all know that backpacking is a surprise thing in everywhere you go. So, yeah, it's really hard for you, not only for you, but for us here, but I want to thank you all for being very flexible. Now, so I want to commend your being flexible as a, as a group and being united as a climate. But I want to also have some recommendations, especially on our trip to Cambodia and on our trips here around Bangkok. I want to recommend that Clement, those who are willing to join next time, please be ready physically. No physically, right? Fit and ready for some, some moments of hunger. Because, you know, sometimes we can expect, we can really follow the itinerary because, because of some reasons that are not really expected, unexpected moments. So since this is a backpacking ministry, so, hey, ready? Yeah, since it's a backpacking ministry, so backpacking means hard, but happy, and ministry means ministering to others as well. So not only to or an orphanage we can minister, but every step of the way we can minister. So we must be ready always to minister everywhere. Everywhere we are go. We are we are planning to go. So that's it only. My recommendations are thank you so much for being united and for being flexible. My recommendations are just yeah, be ready physically. Physically and spiritually. Always be ready. So that's it. And thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for your effort and for your time once again. And to all Clement out there who are not with us here, I want to invite you to come and join us this coming backpacking. Not really sure yet, but we are still planning and we are still 
thinking to make it sure. So be ready. And right now, right at this moment, be ready. Financially, physically, spiritually, mentally, everything. Every aspect of your life. So thank you so much. Arika.